Farming is still very much a family business, but the day-to-day -day running of a farm has changed hugely in the last 20 years. Each farm stay property has history. Peter and I have been here for 23 years. My parents-in-law were here before us, and my parents-in-law parents were here farming. Edward and Victoria will be a fourth generation. For some, leaving farming behind altogether is an attractive option. Dairying is a hard life and uh, the price of milk has been dreadful for years. Uh, when the milk marketing board left, that, the price of milk is just the supermarket's decision. So we decided to go from the three holiday cottages that we had to seven and we got some help from grants and went for it. So we dismantled everything that was to do with dairying and uh, changed our yard into a courtyard and uh, used the buildings which were Victorian and quite lovely. Sometimes diversification into tourism is simply the logical extension of a modern family business, taken up alongside more traditional farming activities. The freedom um, of growing up on a farm was amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I moved back really to raise my family back on the farm to give them what I had as a as a child and that's why I moved back um, six years ago to start out on the diversification activities here. There are many economic benefits to encouraging the growth of tourism to rural British farms. Most farm stay members go to great lengths to ensure they source their food locally. So our apple juice comes from Robery's up the road, two miles away in Chadley Corbett. Our local butcher in um, Bell Broughton, Charles Jordan, he cures his own bacon and makes his own sausages. Eggs are from our own hens. We sourced some local grain, not, not far from here, about three miles west of here. A farmer supplies us with grain and uh, so we we're able to produce 100% stone ground wholemeal flour at the moment. The bread making machine is usually on the go most days to produce a loaf of bread using our uh, wholemeal flour. The size and scale of farming at farmstay properties varies. Some are small holdings dedicated to providing solely for the B&B. They're all uh, rare breed pigs that we get. At the moment we've got Tamworths and Gloucester Old Spots and uh, we're trying to breed from the Gloucester Old Spot to uh, have our own set of piglets out there and uh, then they're used for our bacon and sausages. Many are in full-scale production, supplying supermarkets up and down the country. Oh, 75, 80 suckler cows, high percentage uh, British blue. We've got some Angus, beef short horns, and we have just purchased a beef short horn bull. Cows have been my life. Diversification often goes beyond offering accommodation, and many farm stay members have other enterprises up their sleeves. Wedding cakes, celebration cakes. When, when guests come in for breakfast, I may have made uh, the base of the cake the night before. I'll make breakfast, and if they're all chatting, I might start decorating a little bit of a cake um, so they get a little bit of an idea. We have a, an online business selling bras, amplebosom.com been going 12 years. If a visitor want, wanted to have a look around and, and buy some bras, that's fine. And if you want a job in the bra office, you have to clean cottages on a Friday. Visiting a B&B, a cottage or a camping and caravan site with farm stay, you'll be staying with individuals with unique insights and interests. They're not employees with name badges, but passionate people with great knowledge of their surrounding areas and a vested interest in their local communities.